Hi, my name is Dee Gerritsen. I wanted to tell you a little bit about how to play Saving Mansfield Park. I was inspired to develop this game based on some of Jane Austen's characters from her books, but you don't have to know anything about her books to have fun playing this game. If you do know something about her books, you might have fun recognizing some of the references to the characters in her works. The idea of the game is to find enough valuable items to save this historic estate from ruin. You'll be looking for a number of small items scattered throughout the house. The exact number of items will depend on the number of players. You'll also be trying to accumulate a set of Miss Austen's six most famous works. There's also a secret passage that will help you find things if you can figure out where the entrance is. You'll want to find all these items before the ruthless Carolyn Bingley makes it through the front door because if she gets there, she's going to tear the building down. So when you're ready to play, this is the game board setup. The items to find are scattered throughout the house. Right now, since this is a prototype, um, they're printed on cards, but they will be tiles in the actual game to make them easier to pick up. The book cards are in the attic, and the action cards are in the front garden. All the players begin the game in the front hall. Pug is wherever you want to place him within the house. Miss Bingley is outside trying to come up the walkway, and the cranky swan is in one of the front reflecting pools. When it's your turn, you'll have three choices on how you want to proceed. You can jump directly to the attic if you want to pick up a book card, either from the discard pile or to draw one, and then you'll wait there until your next turn. Or you can try to roll the dice to get into a room. Let's say you got a high enough number to get into the sitting room. Once you're there, you'll pick up an item card to see if it's one of the ones you want. If you do want it, you keep it and if you don't, you put it back, but remember where you've seen it because you don't want to waste another turn looking at the same card again. Once you decide what to do with the item card, then you'll draw an action card, which may direct you to another room where you'll wait there for your next turn. Or it may let Miss Bingley advance one square, which really puts the pressure on. Occasionally, an action card will send the swan after Miss Bingley to send her back one space, and that'll give you a bit more time to find the items you need. Sometimes an action card will have you deal with Pug, because Pug can upend all the best laid plans. Your third choice is to see if you can find where the entrance to the secret passage is. To do that, you can ask another player if they have a particular room or location where it might be. If they do, they show it to you, and if they don't, that's the end of the turn, but it'll help you narrow down the possibilities. Players keep searching until someone has found all the items, and that person then wins the game and saves the house. So that's the game. Please send me a message if you have any more questions. I'd be happy to answer them.